Welcome back. All right, now we're going to talk about three of the trades that took place today. Yeah, I'm doing three. I, I used to do like one board, like a board for each trade, but and a video for each trade, but we're going to do three trades in, in, in one video. Uh, we're going to start off with the trade that sent Brent Burns to the Carolina Hurricanes. San Jose has had a problem since they acquired Eric Carlson. Carlson and Burns, it felt like, played the same role. That they, they basically, they're even the same handedness, so they don't play together. So I understood, like, you know, the idea behind it seemed to be for Doug Wilson when he acquired him, I can have Carlson on the ice, and then, you know, I can then have Burns on the ice after, and they can both play 25 minutes a night, and it's going to be a nightmare to play against. In theory, fine, but in, in practicality, it just didn't work. So Burns ends up going to Carolina. This makes some cap space for San Jose as well. San Jose retains $2.72 million of the contract in the deal. Uh, Brent Burns, $5.28 million is going to be the cap hit for Carolina with Burns. Uh, they also add Lane Peterson in the deal. Peterson, bottom six forward. Going the other way to San Jose, Stephen Lawrence, restricted free agent currently. Bottom six forward in Carolina. I do think there's some scoring potential there. Uh, I like Lawrence. I like his work effort. I think I think Trip Tracy probably groaned a little bit when he saw this one today, not because he's upset at getting Burns. Probably sort of sad that he won't see Stephen Lawrence this coming season. Uh, A2 McAniemi is going the other way as well. He is a goaltending prospect, so he's a restricted free agent. Or he's not signed either. So for San Jose, we'll see how this turns out. Uh, but they, they get a 2023 third as well. And again, $2.72 million retained. This was about creating salary cap space. And it, it gets rid of the redundancy on the blue line. Now they have Carlson as your puck-moving defenseman, your primary puck-moving defenseman. And they have a little bit of cap space to go out and add somebody. So uh, we'll see how things work out. If I had to pick a winner in this trade, I, I actually kind of like what both teams did. Uh, I usually say the best player in the trade is your winner. In this case, Burns is the best player. But boy, getting that cap space, that could lead to San Jose getting a player as well. Uh, then Arizona, the reason I'm wearing an Arizona jersey, they, they started it already. So it is one thing to stockpile draft picks for a draft. It is another thing to stockpile draft picks for every single draft. And that seems to be what the Arizona Coyotes are doing. So they take Patrick Nemeth and his contract off the Rangers' hands. The Rangers had been mulling over, reportedly mulling over, whether or not to buy out Nemeth. And they, they didn't, and maybe it's because this trade was in the works, so no reason to, to move on and, and, and try to buy him out. Uh, so a 2024 third goes along with them, or a 2026 second. It is Arizona's choice. They can decide to make that the 2026 second. And they get a 2025 second round pick. So they've already started adding draft picks. We're not even a week out from last week's draft. Or from this year's draft, as we're saying a week out from... Anyway... Uh, Ty Emerson, the rights to Ty Emerson going to the New York Rangers. This, again, was a cash deal to make some cap space for the New York Rangers. It works. Nemeth, a depth, a depth defenseman at this stage. And so Arizona has already started picking up contracts from other teams and, and contracts. So we've started yet again. And then the trade that started things off this morning was Pavel Zaka joining the Boston Bruins. He's a restricted free agent. Uh, Zaka has some upside. There is still going to be that debate about how much upside is there. Uh, there were rumors that the Canucks were looking at Zaka. Clearly did not get in on this deal. Didn't get it done. Uh, going the other way, Eric Halla going to the New Jersey Devils. A ideally third-line winger who can put the puck in the net occasionally as well. The New Jersey Devils, likely not done for today. A lot of discussion about whether or not he would be the natural landing place for Johnny Goudreau. So Eric Halla. Um, joining the New Jersey Devils, Zach over to Boston, and there are your three trades that started things off today. We'll see what other trades get made. Let me know which teams you think won the deals. Again, I'm wearing Arizona because they've already started stockpiling uh, draft picks, and I wore my Ed Jovanovski jersey because it feels like since Jovo left, this is basically what's been going on. But let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.